Hello friends, welcome to today's video. I thought today we would do a review of a totally different kind of mask, and that is the Starry Eyes, the world's kindest eye mask from Pop Mask. This I received in my November BoxyCharm. We actually got a set of two of these, and they are unlike any other kind of beauty mask that we've received before because these don't have a skincare benefit. It's not a sheet mask, it's not an eye mask, there's no kind of serum that's sinking into your skin. This is a warming mask that is supposed to provide relaxation. So in this video, I'm going to tell you a little bit about this company and this product. I'm going to show you footage of me using the mask for the first time, and then I'm gonna give you my review and let you know if I think this is something that you may want in your life. This mask is made by Pop Mask London, and this is the only product that Pop Mask currently makes. They also have another company that has another single product that is Pop Bands, although I believe those probably come in different colors and variations, which is a specific kind of hair tie that is supposed to not break your hair or crease your hair, and uh, so that is the company they sort of started with, and then they created these masks under its own brand. So when they talk about their company, they say that Pop Mask was created by Louisa Booth, who also founded the successful hair tie brand Pop Band London. Sorry, did I say Pop Tie or Pop Band before? It's Pop Band. Uh, while traveling around the world to work on Pop Band, Louisa felt desperate for some self-care and relaxation. She remembered a Japanese self-heating mask that she tried back in the 90s and quickly asked a friend to send her a few. Thanks to the mask, she felt refreshed and bright-eyed after her long business flights. There were a few ways Louisa felt the mask could be improved on, so she took it upon herself to create a new self-heating eye mask for the modern person. By combining comfort, ease of use, self-heating technology, and a fun aesthetic, Pop Mask was finally born. So I kind of like these little founding stories, although I think it's kind of funny that they basically had to say there's a Japanese version of this product already and we just redesigned it and branded it as our own. So this isn't a unique product. They don't really explain how they made it different or better, uh, but that is how this product came to be founded. If you are looking to buy these here in Canada, you can get one of these single masks for just over $6. Or if you buy a set of five, it's just over $26, so it makes it just a little more than $5 per mask. So you do get a better deal if you are buying them in volume. And these are single-use masks. They do also talk on their website about a number of things about this being recyclable, biodegradable, that you can continue to use the mask as just a mask it's just, or a sleeping mask, but it's not going to warm itself up again. And the reaction that happens here happens when you actually open the mask itself. Uh, the oxygen getting in there is what starts the reaction that causes this to warm up. I believe they said it gets up to 38 degrees and stays there for 20 minutes. And that's 38 degrees Celsius. That's everything I have to tell you about the mask. Let's get into looking at the footage of me using it. I am ready for a bit of relaxation. Uh, yes, I'm in my jammies already, even though it's only four o'clock. Uh, do you ever have one of those days where you're just feeling a little moody? Like, I can tell when I'm in a moody mood, and I'm feeling that way today for no reason. Like, nothing bad's happening, all is good, I'm just feeling a little grumbly today. Um, but I can recognize that. I don't take it out on the folks around me. But all of that to say that I feel like maybe this is going to be a different kind of relaxation experience and maybe it'll be really good for me. So um, yeah, you saw the intro to the video, what this is. I haven't read anything about it beyond what's on this package. So I'm going into this a bit blind, which is kind of a pun since this is an eye mask. So I don't have any makeup on. I've just washed my face and put on my like nighttime moisturizing products. Um, but I don't know that you need to because I don't think this is like a skincare kind of thing. I think it's just warming. So it says to open pouch and remove your Starry Eyes pop mask. Gently open the pop mask, then pull the loops and place them around your ears. Your Starry Eyes pop mask will soon start to warm and relax you. Uh, lie back, doze, sleep, daydream, meditate, or just have some me time to be kind to yourself. Your pop mask warmth will last for up to 20 minutes. And it says, warning, may cause complete relaxation and deep sleep, may ease migraines and tension headaches, may cause a feeling of refreshedness when waking. Do not operate anything whilst wearing your starry eyes pop mask. And it says, no star stars were harmed in the making of these eye masks. So 
Yeah, and it doesn't look like the ingredients on here. There's no ingredients. It just says that the outer sheet is non-woven fabrics and the heat cell is like stuff that will make it heat up. So I don't think you, like you could probably do this with a full face of makeup if you didn't mind getting your makeup messed up. So what I'm gonna do is put this on, lie back there on my bed where you can see my pillow and stuff. Maybe leave the video camera on so I can tell you what I'm feeling and relax. Yeah, it's a little, looks like the kind of mask you get on airplanes. And I assume the white side goes against your eyes. And I feel like maybe I feel it's starting to warm. Now I'm gonna have to find a way to get to my bed. I mean, to get there. I don't know why I thought that they're, weird, what am I seeing? Oh, the light through here. Okay. <laughs> oh, I should have set a timer before I did this. <laughs> Oops, oh, that's bright now. Okay, let's set my timer on my watch. Okay, see you in 20. The warming is very noticeable now. Okay, so my eyes are a little sweaty, <laughs> but that was definitely, I'm just gonna leave it up there. That's cute, right? It was definitely relaxing. Like, I was starting to snore there. Um, I really was on the edge of oop, falling asleep. Um, it still is a little warm here, but I would say for me, the heating didn't get too intense. I saw a couple of people online say that it was a little intense. I didn't feel that. It did feel like the heat peaked at about a third of the way into that time, so maybe at about the seven minute mark, and then was cooling off through the rest of the time. Um, yeah, very relaxing, uh, and as I said, not irritating in any way whatsoever. Uh, these are really, like they keep the mask on, but they're really loose, so it doesn't feel like it's pulling at you at all. Did I have this on, like, upside down? I may have, because I felt like Maybe not. No, no, I had it the right way. Um, I could feel the warmth quite a bit like up here, but it really sort of warmed up the whole eye area. I think I'm looking a little pink and flushed right now. Uh, but yeah, super relaxing. And um, that's it for the demo part. So uh, let's get to the review. I really enjoyed using this. I found it nice. I found it relaxing. I was having a really hard time not dozing off when I was using it. So do I think that you should get these? Mm, let's talk about that a little bit more. If I want the kind of experience that I had here at home in my day to day, you don't need to buy single use masks like this. Uh, I was doing a little bit of Googling because I knew that these existed, but basically you can get almost like little bean bags that lie over your eyes. Uh, I saw some that were made out of wheat berry and also had lavender in them and you pop them in the microwave for like 30 seconds, you make sure they're not too hot, and then you can lie back and put them on your eyes and it will sort of mold the shape of your face and you'll get that nice warmth. Uh, granted with those ones, you know, if you move around it's gonna fall off, but you know, I'm sure if I did a little bit more Googling there's probably somebody who has made one that is also a mask, I am sure. So if you are just looking to have this kind of experience at home, then I would go for something that is not a single use product. I think I saw some of those wheat berry ones on Amazon for like, I wanna say less than $20. So four uses and it would, you know, pay for itself over getting these. So I don't think these are useless though. I mean, she talked about specifically using these on flights. So yes, if you are traveling, if you want this kind of experience on a plane, if you are somewhere like in a hotel room without access to a microwave to heat up the, you know, more sustainable, um, may, you know, wheat berry kind of one, then these may be good. Uh, I did notice when I was Googling and doing some research that there definitely are other brands of these. She sort of mentioned the Japanese one, but it seems like there's a number of them out there. So while I tried this one and I liked it and I didn't really look too much in the price points of the others, there may be other options that 
either stay heated for longer or are a better price point. This isn't necessarily as unique as they are making it out to sound like. I really did like this though. So if you are somebody who travels a lot, if you are somebody who goes on long plane rides, if you are someone who spends a lot of time in hotels and you tend to have a hard time getting to sleep or you have tension headaches, I do think this product may be something that might be of interest to you because I found it incredibly relaxing. I also think there are other options out there, so take your time to do your research. Think about where it is and what situations you're going to be using something like this in that you want that kind of experience and then make an informed choice. Uh, I think this is cool. I think it opened me up to thinking about getting one of those Wheatberry masks. I don't travel that often, so I can sort of see lying back and having a nice warm wheat berry mask on where it sort of molds to my face and that could be really relaxing especially with the lavender in there that would heat up and sort of give you those lavender vibes and scents that help you sort of relax a little bit more uh so yeah good product not super unique it turns out but a good product uh, if you enjoyed this review please give this a thumbs up if you receive these in your boxy charm and you have tried them out let me know what you thought of them down below it's always good to get other folks opinions i am just one person uh, if you've not yet subscribed to my channel please consider doing so and i look forward to seeing you in my next video bye